The Samsung Galaxy S23 series is already out and this year Samsung did not launch Exynos and Qualcomm variants in the Galaxy S23 series. In fact, this time all the markets will get the S23 series powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 only. And this is a good move considering the history of Exynos chipsets. But this does not mean that Samsung will stop making flagship Exynos chipsets. In fact, recently a report from South Korea revealed that Samsung is already working on the Exynos 2400 chipset and this chipset recently got approved for mass production. Today, Ice Universe, who is a very reliable source when it comes to Samsung related information, shared the CPU configuration of Exynos 2400 and the config is really interesting. That is because Exynos 2400 will feature a CPU with 10 cores. Normally these days we see either 6 core CPUs like in the Apple's A16 Bionic or 8 core CPUs like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or Dimensity 9200. Now the 10 core CPUs or DECA core CPUs are not new in the smartphone world. In fact, there used to be a time when there were chipsets such as Helio X20 and Helio X30 from MediaTek with 10 core CPUs. Anyways, speaking of the CPU configuration of the Exynos 2400, it has one prime Cortex X4 core that is paired with two high frequency Cortex A720 cores, three low frequency Cortex A720 cores, and four Cortex A520 cores. The clock speeds, however, are not yet known. Now, since the Cortex X4, A720, and A520 are not yet announced by ARM, we won't be surprised if Samsung Galaxy S24 series is the first to feature Exynos 2400 next year. The last flagship SoC by Samsung was the Exynos 2200 which was seen in the Galaxy S22 series and it did have a lot of issues like poor battery life, display issues, lags in the UI etc. It would be interesting to see how the Exynos 2400 will perform because all the high-end Exynos chipsets in the past few years have been amazing on paper but when it comes to real life, the story has been completely different. Anyways, what are your expectations with the Exynos 2400? Do let me know via the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.